How did you even get involved with IFL TV? Like for years, we're used to Coogan and James, Coogan and it was like literally like that, yeah. inseparable. And then obviously James um, disappeared. We're not going to get into that and how it worked, but James disappeared. You, as well as a few others came along, um, but then you've almost risen to almost be side by side with Coogan. How did it all start? You said that, not me. I said it. I said, well, <laughs> people don't mind anymore. You know what it is? I think that people will immediately listen to who the interviewer is and sometimes tune out. But I think with you, people now think, oh, fuck it, Umar's interviewing. Apart from you being a stirrer, Umar's interviewing. <laughs> yeah, we'll come on to that. <laughs> we'll come on to that. So how did you even get started with um, IFL? All right, so I was at a Cody Chamberlain just as a fan bought a ticket. Not the most memorable fight yeah, uh, in the world, but the worst, kind yeah. of my life kind of spun around on that night. Mm. So I was going home um, on the tube, left my mate, mm. he went the other way, bumped into James, mm. who actually started talking to me, which was really random. Yeah. And I was like, well, James Helders just started chatting to me. He's well, like, like he really? didn't know who you were. Just I had, a, I had one of them things, because yeah. I ringed up, so I had yeah. one of them things on. Okay. So he, he, I think he made a comment about the fight. He was like, oh, you didn't fall asleep, did you, during that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, he was a really nice guy, just chatting. He is, isn't he? Oh, I love Yeah, him. honestly, even now, I still kind of reach out to him a few times. Oh, yeah? yeah, yeah. Um, so he was chatting, and uh, he started asking me that like, question about boxing. Uh, and we didn't we didn't realise we lived like two minutes away from so mm. we spent the whole tube journey together. And now it makes sense why he was asking me questions. Yeah. Um, and then he was like, give me your number, yeah. um, let's do a trial period for you at IFL. Bloody hell. And I was like, yeah, good joke. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, no, I'm being serious. And no journalist background, no media, no nothing? No, never studied it. So I did like GCSEs, A-levels, but never... Nothing related to that. No, okay. never spoke to a boxer before unless it was for a picture. Mm. Never picked up a camera. Like that was my biggest worry. I, like, how do I operate this thing? It's really simple. But I was no, like, it's not though. I mean, when you're talking to someone and yeah. doing it at the same time, we try to. It's, it's not that easy. You make it sound. I easy. thought it'd be much harder. Okay. Like, there'd be loads of things you have to do. Mm -hmm. um, at first couple of times, like, I got a few things wrong with like the focus and stuff. Yeah, but yeah. It's, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, operating yeah. the camera. I was most worried about that though. Yeah. Um, and then. It just went from there. So I had like a, like a month and a half about pages trial. Mm. And then... Cheeky bastards. A month and that? a half. A month and a half. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, went from there. Mm. Yeah. Bloody hell. Do you... Obviously, I said just now that obviously when I think of Coogan, or I felt I think of you and Coogan. Do, do, you, do you understand that though? Do you see where that comes from? Um, there's two other guys as well. So yeah. you've got Andrew McCart. Very uh, good. Covered the Scotland Scot area, right? Yeah, so okay. he covers a lot of the Scottish shows mm. um, and the Irish shows in Belfast, like the MTK fighters he's very close with. Mm. And then you've got a really new guy, started two months ago, Oscar Bevis. Okay, yeah, I've seen, yeah, I've heard, uh, sorry. He's doing of... Ultimate Boxer tonight. Okay. Um, and there's a lot of big names of that, Ame Khan there, mm. uh, I think Crawler's there, Paulie Malinaji's there, so he's going to have a, a good night tonight. Mm. Um, so yeah, there's four of us now. When was the first, or what, who was the first boxer that he actually was a bit starstruck? Like, oh my God, I've got, actually got to go and interview that guy where I've just been watching him on TV and I was a bit of a fanboy. It was quite late into the my career, yeah. I felt. so it was only this April, Andre Ward. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I just was there, I was like, oh God, yeah. you know what I mean? And I'll tell you what, he was, um, it was Crawford Khan and he, yeah. he was doing a lot, obviously he works heavily with uh, ESPN. Yeah. He was flat out working. I waited three and a half hours outside a room yeah. just to interview him for four minutes. Jeez. But he... He's one of them people, the numbers he generates on our channel. Yeah. He's one of the, actually, in terms of American people, one of the most viewed people. Yeah. But really, is it? Yeah, because everyone... It's funny because his boxing career was completely different. Oh, I mean, in terms amazing of... amazing boxing career, but no numbers. Well, Frock Joyce goes on Yeah, yeah, Frock Joyce no talks about it. Yeah, no one wanted board. to watch him. Which I think is half true and half not. I think yeah. he generated a lot of interest, but for his talent, perhaps he didn't yeah. generate the amount the of The amount you would expect per his talent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But he, everyone likes to listen to Andre Ward because mm. he just... I think 99% of the time he gets it bang on. He's spot on, yeah. isn't he? he, he I smart, said I think he's the best out there. I know yeah. Paulie, for a commentator, I can understand how people like Paulie. Paulie's brilliant. Yeah, right. but it just Andre Ward just, and he keeps it so simple. Mm. Fantastic. Definitely, and so that's why, yeah, I waited like, literally three and a half hours, but it was just like, wow, I'm, I'm interviewing Andre Ward here, mm. you know, like, one of the best of our generation, 100%. Yeah. So, and a really nice guy as well. Very nice guy.